Hello and uh, welcome on our video lesson. Today we have a topic parental, behavioral and parental care, infant development in mammals. And uh, you know, it's a, a big class of uh, uh, herd data animals and mammals are on, uh, of the six main classes of animals here. It is, and there are only about 4,000 uh, kinds of mammals uh, all over the world. And this sounds like a lot, but uh, when you consider there are uh, 21,000 kinds of fish and uh, uh, thousands, uh, hundreds kinds of insects, uh, you are realize mammals are a pretty small class. Yes, yeah, this class is small, but uh, in the same time, uh, uh, it is huge at the same time. If we look uh, at biomass in general, about 62% uh, global mammal biomass, it is just domesticated animals, and uh, another um, 34 global mammal biomass, it is humans. And looking at this ratio, I understand that the profession of the veterinarian is in a great demand uh, in the world. And this is very in, uh, important to have uh, good uh, veterinary doctors uh, uh, and just in general vet uh, medicine all over the world. And here we see this million tons carbon produced by just uh, this biomass, domesticated cattle, and it's a real problem uh, in general. But today we just talk about um, parental care and what helped the mammals to gain the upper hand strategy they close, chose. Of course, they have something while the fertility itself is small compared to this of spring champions, of course, and mammals have not uh, completely um, abandoned the strategy. Yes, they have it, uh, and the survival strategy of the mammal species is such that the lower the life, especially the more offspring need to be produced. Uh, here we see this, if you live not so long life, you need to just have uh, more and more uh, offsprings, like in, for example, in a mouth. And uh, here we see this, uh, uh, the animals uh, with low and high fertility. And here, but the production of offspring really uh, reach hundreds of individuals in a lifetime. Also, we can still divide the animals into this that have a relatively high fertility and those that have a low, f low one, low fertility, and shorter gestation time. And the Short gestation leads to the birth to offspring that uh, require care and attention. Females produce milk, lactate, that uh, they feed to their young nursing until the young can find the eat food on their own. And mammals provide a safe living space where they watch over um, the young young until they can survive out in the world and this might be a nest then or borrow a mother's protective pouch it can be or just a central central place in the protective heart mammals also teach uh, their young teachers for offspring and uh, teach for finding food and escaping predators before they go out on their own and of course it uh, it is absolutely for all mammals absolutely for all and in most mammals their mother take care of the offspring parental care and paternal part of the parental care appears as an option it's not required and here we see this internal gestation, lactation, maternal investment obligatory and paternal care optional in general. 
Of course, the scare is more complex device, just like gestation and lactation, and here with this finding and keeping of the offspring from danger and partner uh, um, uh, behavioral and postpartum behavioral and even uh, just um, even in mammals with low paternal care like rabbits it is and, uh, uh, one more we can to divide the mammals uh, with um, uh, maternal behavioral um, just uh, with low part of maternal behavioral with a high maternal behavioral like in a dog Maternal behavioral is innate behavioral, however, expense play a role and factors influence of the expression of maternal behavioral, just the internal factors like just the hormones as the main one, prolactin, and external factors too. And here we see this uh, uh, paternal care. Uh, parental care and mam mammal uh, in general, the efforts given by parents to their offspring to increase grow rates, quality, survival and protect from predators and only 6% of mammals show both paternal um, and maternal uh, behavioral care, especially which are socially monogamous and male mammals also provide paternal care in uh, mammals their chief paternal care is maternal care in large part due to lactation of course and so uh, we discussed the general principles but the problems is uh, that mammals are very different very different animals so we just classified this animals and talked about uh, parental behavior uh, in these in the classes. Uh, at first it is uh, animals uh, with absolutely only female paternal, unpaternal behavioral par uh, parents. Uh, mm, like uh, care only with the mama man, female, and uh, sometimes uh, male uh, take a, a part of uh, care with babies and sometimes it is just cooperation to care of offspring and uh, uh, be paternal, uh, be parental behavior of, uh, can be too. In general today we talked about um, some kinds of mammals it's uh, present day mammals are divided into three groups based on their parent uh, of development and monotremes, marsupials, and placental animals. And uh, here we see this big uh, tree of uh, mammals, and this is in the form of diagram. Uh, consequently, they have very different parental behavior in general. They have one thing in common, it is feeding or spraying with milk. And here we are uh, now, and here uh, we move mammal glands, located in the female's chest uh, and abdomen general produce a nutrient rich energy source called milk secret and gives this cl uh, class its uh, name mammary and milk is rich in protein carbohydrates uh, the special sugar lactose and of course in some animals very rich uh, uh, in fat it, it also contains water of course which prevents degradation and minerals such as calcium and that are critical to your grown and especially very quick uh, grow young and uh, here this is uh, unlike the vertebrates young mammals are depend on their mothers for a relatively long period receiving milk and other food and protection and shelter from him
so at first we, th we start from this class uh, uh, mon terms uh, oviparous and you know some of these animals like platypus <laughs> and today we talked about this is a special class of mammals uh, non placental mammals echlion mammals so uh, we know only two animals like uh, spiny anteater or just echidna and platypus and, uh, and all these animals like uh, lay their eggs like a reptilians then feed uh, young with milk from the mammary gland so it is the first level of the mammal's development in general and the most primitive of the animals are represented by the order monotermata monotremes all modern monotremes live in australia or New Guinea or South America and this uh, distribution may be the result of the mo uh, movement of this uh, land masses of continental drift and three living monotreme spices include the um, platypus and two spices of echidnas or spinny anteaters and special animals. Uh, this animal seems to re resemble a yellow and mammals. The monotreme spice have uh, shoulders and uh, forelimbs that are reptilian in appearance and produce bioline leathery eggs. Uh, the female monotreme incubates her eggs with the body heat and hatching the newborns are only partly developed. Uh, we will see this. Like birds and reptiles, uh, these animals have a cloaca. Uh, a common uh, way for the digestive, reproductive and even urinary system and um, no other animals have separated uh, parts of digestive and urinary system only these animals have the clock uh, and adult monterms do not have true teeth without trees no of course and here we see this part of the body and um, monotremes very very special here we see this uh, uh, part of the body the males in the best condition come out to the hibernation first and sometime uh, in early May and seek out the still hibernated females and male echinus can tell by s uh, smell which females are in good condition for breeding they stay with their choosing uh, until she has warmed up enough the mate and such gentlemen yes <laughs> and may guard her after mating to prevent other mates mating with her and drop down and uh, the male go looking for the other ma females and uh, early in the mating season male uh, echidnas go back into hibernation after mating hinting development of the embryo and the lion egg uh, until the weather is more favorable for reaching the young sometimes called a pattern and many pregnant females and females with eggs or young are harassed by comparative males often resulting in the loss of the young and the gestation period for hiddenness takes about 20 days about two days before a client the uh, mother digs a nursery burrow and uh, uh, where she lies a single egg into the pouch only one the egg hatch about 10 11 days and in this manner the mother say, stays in the burrow with her young for about six weeks before leaving to feed uh, and sometimes take more and less about 50 days old Mm, and at which point it becomes too speaky and it's uh, legged it to the nursery. And uh, here we see this man in southeastern um, islands, hiddenness, where in cure at about even uh, uh, 150 days, but in the weather 
Kango Island is it's small than 50 days later it takes different time I see and here we see this special one more special uh, mammary glands without nipples mammal glands without nipples and uh, we, we can find this mammals uh, mammal gland and you can look at the yarn lab uh, up milk uh, that oses from glands located on the mother's belly and just here we find this uh, bag uh, where it takes the just uh, keep the egg and here we see this a mammal gland, it's special mammal gland. Uh, it's not like in a, in general in mammals. And platypus do something uh, the same. And uh, also both in mammal gland, uh, the milk is realized through pores on the skin, just uh, on the surface of the skin in platypus, in something in this area just drops of the milk the milk pools and grows on the uh, on her abdomen allowing the young to lap it up after they hatch the offspring as a milk feed for three to four mouses it takes a, this and mussopials it's a new class and um, are uh, viviparous without a lion and with a short gestation so the development occurring in an pouch and uh, reproductive fibers in females and males it's a way how to very quickly to have offspring and here we see all the uh, marsupials include kangaroos, wombats, and koalas and of course you know the opossums in this animal the young are born only days or weeks after fertilization teeny and and completely develop it and very very little and without any parental help this just can't live and uh, in a bag there is a mammal gland with the nipples so this uh, more huge gland and um, like as this animal can to have more um, more milk each newborn attach itself to a nipple and uh, contours to grow and develop for several months when the young mass appears and here we see this uh, kinds of these animals you know opossum and uh, we uh, had discussed about kangaroo here we see this very very little offspring very very little baby it's just like a newborn day is the size of a lima bean a very small for all these animals and here we see this opossum's family and here this bag of this animal too uh, I already left a link to how kangaroos are born and they are really teeny, really teeny. You can also look at the opossum family. Imagine pandas. Uh, pandas are born so small, even though they are not must be as uh, animal, but almost the same. Like in in uh, um, koalas like this is something the same it's very small and teeny here we see this and so new uh, level it is a pleasant house as a viviparous with a long gestation so we have the egg lion mammals we have the mammals with a short time gestation and new, new level it is a pleasant house the animals with a long gestation so what we have this placentals animals take a huge part of the mammals it is a 90 percent and placenta is the organ that nourishes uh, uh, the yarn while inside the uterus inside the mama's body and gestation period in uh, of time yarn develops in uterus and offspring are protected from predators and have a lot of uh, uh, nutrients 
and they are in of placental animals develop within the female sutras like in humans too and of course it is the blood to give the nutrients for baby body an organ called the placenta allows the diffusion of nutrients and oxygen for the mother's body, blood and body across placental membranes and into the blood of the developing fetus and waste materials from the fetus diffuse in the opposite direction and are eliminated by the mother's excretory system and so it is very important to just um, this uh, the net of vessels umbilical blood to and other and the period of time between fertilization and birth is called the gestation period of course this gestation period takes different time for different animals and most placental animals have a longer gestation period than um, muscopial animals and the young are more completely developed uh, at birth and some placental animals like a hole can stand and walk you know this animals kind and other uh, very teen uh, like in a rabbit uh, and helpless of course and how uh, long can be gestation period in animals uh, at um, the length of the time between fertilization and birth can be huge like in elephants it's need almost two years and uh, very quickly like in a mouse uh, need only a few weeks like very quickly living animals and here we see this <coughs> gestation period uh, um, pay attention to the gestation period there is a general trend large animals have a longer gestation period like in polar bear how is this like in for humans for example uh, uh, almost the same time large animals have a longer gestation period but primates disappear as a small size have a long gestation period too it it takes uh, at, uh, almost the same time like in humans so it's like in a polar bear uh, almost the same uh, why uh, even in lions gestation is two times shorter with the lion, lion uh, here it takes two sh two times shorter period of gestation um, also the animals is large uh, we will discuss this below and very soon but back to classification to embryos mm, here we see this do you remember the slight uh, types of embryos and uh, it all depends on the type of embryo and uh, newborn atrashil mm, precashil and uh, you know this atrashil uh, then a uh, helpless without parent can't survive at all and uh, mouse rats dogs cats and uh, more and more and here we see this this is not uh, very easy to understand how quickly the newborn can stand on the left can move very quickly here is this atrial precocial and semi atrial animals that just even to have a <coughs> standing between post partition uh, and uh, um, have a second reflex for some hours very quickly development animals in order to understand this issue let's try to divide all animals according to the air classification and have a scissors uh, all orders of mammals start move uh, uh, from the up to down and here we see this first one uh, level of how the artery to dactyla uh, even toyed ingularis uh, uh, glades and these animals walk only on their toys oh you know this uh, like in a horse for example and here most us special that uh, uh, but not one uh, finger like in uh, thumb fingers and um, 
horse he uh, has only one finger here it have some fingers it can be two fingers or three toys and most are specialized for locomotion with long hurt legs and have uh, diversified uh, as the uh, have declined and number of teeth is variable but they have a diastema uh, here this but we don't have the score but uh, you know and males often spot uh, antlers or horns like here and uh, you know this all the kinds in general and here we see that most are uh, gregarious living in large groups and some are solitary and they breed only once a year so they may breed multiple times and uh, majority are polygenous a few seasonal and monogamous offsprings and uh, here we see the uh, females are uh, um, caregivers and lactation to offspring mother two types Hitters and followers, and he just keeps a newborn offspring in such a place where it's easy to camouflage. And during her foraging, she comes back periodically to clean and feed uh, feed uh, offspring, and she take it with her when it is uh, capable enough to protect itself from the predators, and they live in small groups. And a uh, shot of young uh, followers accom accompany their offspring immediately after birth, leaving open habitat with little shield of young. And he was uh, sometimes uh, this animal builds a nest, like in a European pavil, gives birth in a root nest. Here, this we see this and. Uh, don't leave this nest only in temporarily and here this is in, in, in uh, temperate regions birth take place in spring or early summer and in tropical areas where often more births during or just after the rainy season uh, and, and, and well defined breeding season in spices may indicate less uh, environmental condition which sometimes vary in di different parts of the spice range and um, in Africa and Zambia so uh, fall arm warm mm, just for all Africa and beyond considering climate changes in irradiation points for give birth some animals and here we see this especially in this region it's very intensive um, and here is a strange black um, tree glass show areas that support seasonal population grow and red tree glass show that areas that support year-round population establishment and uh, blue circles show how accuracy comes from the invisible range. So it is very difficult to understand how this changing of climate um, can to change our life. And here we see the most modern uh, artodactyls have one yarn and very, very, uh, um, uh, some, sometimes it can be twins. Or even the triples, the triples uh, babies that's come on. Um, uh, for example, in Sidiak, uh, commonly we are twins, usually, or with the twins babies. So it can be one and sometimes twins. So in uh, all the carnivora. So this animal's predator. So also not all current carnivora are carnivorous. Uh, the it can be just like a, a ha have the skills special with the carnivoral teeth and uh, in general it can be canidids and fillets and uh, you know the jaw is uh, are on it uh, and the muscle are attached 
in uh, such a way as to disallow side by side movement uh, just uh, can to to eat uh, grass one uh, one positive thing about the arrangement of the carnivorum skull is that it allows for large brain uh, more um, brain than in uh, um, just uh, uh, cattle and uh, cats, dogs and bears and more um, uh, you know animals more smarter than goats, horses and hippos for them. And here we see this predators come in all shapes and sizes. Uh, ranging from two ones wheels to half ton bears and they eat everything from birds, fish, uh, reptiles, eggs and each other even too and it may not be much help when uh, you are trying to make sense if bears and hyenas but they are two suborders of the order of carnivora it's uh, uh, caniformia and feliformia as you may already know uh, it's uh, caniformia canis includes dogs foxes and wolves and but it's also home to animals as diverse as scones uh, and uh, Seals and Feliformia includes lions, tigers, just cats, and uh, might not think uh, are all the closely related to felines such as the hyenas and mongoosts, uh, <laughs> but it is close to Feliformia and Hephaestus kind, uh, and uh, that's why the cats. Cats know when you are calling them, they just don't care about it. So it's because the dogs and the wolves are intensely social animals and usually hunting and living in the packs. And while most big cats tend to be solitary, forming small family on, uh, uh, units only when necessary, like in lions. In case you are wondering why it's so easy to train our dog and the cat won't even show the <laughs> in my back and respond to its name that's because canis are hard varied by evolution to follow the leader lead to the pack alpha and while troublesome play like, couldn't care less and the cat just don't want to do something this is just uh, genetically and what is the carnivora and start from this animals carnivores are polygenous polygenandros and monogamous and who live in a pack no, sometimes a dominant male and female of the pack breed and all the members of the pack help rise offspring and uh, who are solitary often polygenators with male and female each having multiple partners during breeding season like cats bears and they breed a seasonally which in a cold climate mate in the winter and spring and breed in spring and summer and, and very different and the carnivores may have two or three letters per year but most have just one, only one letter every year, and females uh, nurture the young providing milk for two weeks to two years. Uh, and once it's all that males should not care, even sometimes kill their offspring, and we will talk about this. It's very important, and very often we will see this in animals here. We meet one fact. This is a murder of the offspring. And this murder is not just for the sake of food. It's a, a deliberate murder. And this kill uh, uh, are very common in high mammals. Uh, you know, in, even in humans too, sometimes it can be. And here we see this male kill babies. And uh, before, uh, early 70s, uh, any type of uh, this kind of behavior in animals was considered like a pathological. 
and only after this period in a University of Source in California in Los Angeles uh, now some professor know certain uh, scenarios of recognized as part of animals reproductive strategy and here with this smile lions are uh, one of the most cited examples of this type of uh, behavioral typically a pride of lions includes one or two adult males who father the cubs uh, if other males successfully host this father then new cubs almost immediately kill any young cubs particularly those the female uh, lions are nursing despite every effort of the mother's part to stop this, this killing and then the females quickly become fertile again and mate with the very males who killed the cubs it's, but but sometimes the sister and brother protect the little babies and here this is one of them just um, super adult male learn become protective to a cup holding this mouse uh, uh, after it's joined by the uh, other males just it's very very strange behavior for animals but it's not only one example uh, might this that winter in the most dangerous time of the year for the young animal baby's bear but for scandinavian brown bear cubs this next few weeks may determine uh, whether the animal lives or dies that's because early may to might Julie is breeding season for Boros bears, brown bears, and the males uh, in a desperate attempt to pass on their DNA try to mate with every female they come across and this is especially dangerous for females with cubs because uh, a mother bear cannot become pregnant while she is still in North Zealand last year later and uh, give milk it's just a hormonal activity prolactin that's why male bears will sometimes kill the cubs forcing the female's body to stop lactation and shift back into reproductive mood and here this is some mother bears and their young seek refuge near people to protect uh, uh, the babies and protect yourself uh, his himself and here is this uh, new part of <coughs> not, not only big animals do this, not only. Uh, here is infanticide by mammalian mothers. It's even for small animals too. If you want to know more, I just leave uh, the link when males kill each other's or others or spring for little animals too. And the human animals do it do and very smart animals do this it is do you remember this strategy for monkey and for chimpanzee and gorillas uh, where it um, uh, um, have this uh, like in this male baboons are only in a few great pairs who have to not been seen killing and fun. This is probably because female baboons are the dominant members of the societies, making uh, it risky for the males to attack uh, any young girls and also happily mate with everyone, like in a chimpanzee to everyone in their communities. So the males aren't understand aren't readily able to identify which kids which babies are theirs and it's, it's just like a protective strategy and then come on uh, contrary to reproductive strategy and the females and many animals uh, associates is to confuse muscles about which of any kinds uh, it doesn't always work but it is the way and even dolphins you know it's very smart animals and for instance remember which females they are mated with 
you know, the sense it just uh, remembers the females which uh, has the baby, uh, its baby, and then a male dolphin and counters a strategy female with a young calf. Uh, he will do his best to separate the pair and will then severely enjoy or kill the young and just uh, kill. Uh, uh, like uh, this way without the air without protection without milk and just this baby just very quickly to die one more mm, mm, order courtesy uh, why is this animal do this because uh, very very long period of gestation it's typically it takes 10 or 16 months and long birth interval in just one to six years it just take half the life of dolphin and just to do something quickly uh, this way to just to give birth more your offspring just kill previous one and it's very very strange but it's work uh, more true, you know, this um, animals or the insectivora, the third largest order of mammals, and possibly the most primitive group, and even takes uh, the Mesozoic animals and the red um, screw legs, and here most give birth underground to one letter in the spring. It's typically two or eight babies in a letter. Baby moths stay in their nest for about one month before they leave a forage in tunnels. And uh, would be unusual to find a very young mole out of its underground nest. It, it unless the nest has been just disturbed uh, and it's a um, one level it's uh, the most various mammals predators in the planet <laughs> and uh, do we have poisonous mammals here uh, but it's true females have three or four letters uh, in a year and sometimes it's seven young uh, it takes it just from uh, the, the, the time from May to September and females are mixed and the latter may, uh, may have two or three different fathers and young shrew uh, are socially observed following the mothers that can carve on and the in United Kingdom it's huge uh, number of this animals sure about 50 per hectare in woodlands it's just absolutely everywhere and uh, you can spend way too much time on youtube watching video on screws attaching mass scorpions and uh, like a spoiler uh the screw wings and this is because uh, many true spices are poisonous uh, Rich has found that an individual through stories and often uh, venom to kill, uh, you know, uh, 200 mouses. Some screws also use this venom for some sometimes killed live uh, and other animals. So it has a special teeth with uh, poison use, and so this use it uh, and very, very um, dangerous animal. <laughs> <laughs> so it's so much uh, a number of these animals in uh, um, woods and so much uh, poisonous animals, mammals. He was uh, this order insectivorum and uh, all these uh, venoms, uh, not all these animals venoms, only this kind. And furthermore, this little creature does not hibernate, so it needs to be able to capture some, consume prey year round, and meaning it needs non insect prey to keep it alive through the winter time. So, the, the, where does venom come into play? And um, it do not have full of funds that unfold and sink into the victim's 
raises they have channels in their teeth that allow the venomous saliva to flow from the special gland into the bite and uh, wound the infant and uh, not only is uh, their venom strong, but it contains protein, like digestive protein, digesting substance with the day strong proteolytic ferment, and that helps break down muscle tissue in a short time. This would help explain why uh, this animal can eat the amount of their weight, even in two times uh, the weight a day of food equal to its own body weight and more in such a short amount of the time and, and uh, uh, it uh, created with having huge appetites eating their own weight and uh, in short period as you have noticed almost all these animals are very fertile in uh, all spring and um, and here we see this and uh, yes, they also inhibited cannibalism yes it can eat uh, like a hedgehog uh, uh, now many have these animals as a pets in home if you want to know more follow the link in the description and uh, we move next many Lanhomorphus or the Lanhomorpha breed several times a year and produce large letters up to 15 can be you, you see this is a particular as a case in spices that breed in underground protective environments such as burrows and the etrusial yarn of uh, rabbits uh, ki called kids uh, born Necked and helpless after a short gestation period, and the mother can become pregnant again almost immediately after a given birth. And only 15, uh, 15 days and 16 days it takes the time, it's very quickly grows animals. Uh, the mother is able to leave this young safely and go off to feed. Uh, returning at the intervals to feed them with their um, unusual fat rich milk. In some species, the mother only visits the feed the latter once a day, but the young grow rapidly and are usually burned within the mother, and hers live about ground and their letters contain lever, uh, are born in forms concealed and mount uh, tuck and scrub. They have a strategy to prevent predators from tracking down the letter by following the dots. Then they approach and depart uh, from the nesting site in a series of emerald stops, sometimes moving uh, at right angles to their previous direction. And the young uh, are pre-social and a small number are born after a long gestation period already cleaned and short for the able to move around and who would have thought that such cute cage could be a predator too you know it can eat uh, the babies too and like in all uh, uh, mammals it's why do male rabbits eat their babies it's uh, i i can't understand but you can too just uh, move on the this link and can to read about more and very seductive it's new order of animals like i said that only one finger use and here horses uh, rhinoceroses and zebras too and here we already know a lot about horses and this site will give you uh, even more information and it just you have these baby horses facts the first few weeks since the most important is the bonding with the mother and then being left alone to do their thing after this the mother will force and fall and find the other food and uh, so be ready for this and baby horse have a great deal 
of strange of their size and after being born in order to keep up with their mother they depend solely on their mothers in the beginning because that it is is all they need and female baby horses are called just for plural and uh, male ho baby horses are called colts and other names include some names and they are weren't usually at around mm -hmm. three months but sometimes at six depending on the owner and he was this but these animals have a very short neck and can treat the grass so he was this is reno about reno it's very interesting uh, all five reno spices have a long gestation period where reno months are pregnant about 16 15 months before we even birth to a single calf and this wild Torino mom keeps her yarn uh, one very close because the skin of this yarn is very, very thin. And this is because the skin main difference in the rhinos is not yet hard uh, enough in a baby. And she will use that horn to scare off predators like lions and hyenas and will even keep other rhinos away until the calf is a bit bigger and uh, running the arena's been uh, at two months but we continue up until they really um, about one year it can be and here is this is animals and uh, one more and special i just uh, even to give you a very big link and um, and on this slide you can find interesting information about tapirs and remember we talked about animals that are lo loners tapirs are pre uh, primarily nocturnal and are almost inclusively solitary apart from mother and offspring all together in pairs and the, it live only 20 uh, most than 25 years almost inclusive solitary with only in the pairs it's interesting and order rodent rodenta rodents and have a wide range of types of social uh, behavioral ranging from the mammalian caste system of the net morate and extensive town of the colonium uh, like a, a prey dog uh, thought family groups big family groups in the independent solitary life of the edible uh, dermouse dormouse and these animals are frequently used as laboratory animals and this uh, you know this old psychologist uh, uses animals for understanding the behavior of animals and uh, know about the mentally for the link if you want to know more mental um, in these animals you just read this ethical and here we see this the neck mole rat lives completely underground and can form colonies up to almost 100 individuals and only one female and up to three males in colony reproduce and while the rest of the members are smaller and uh, strictly and uh, just function like a workers like in the bs colony and some individuals of the intermediate size uh, they help with the rearing of the young and can take the place of the reproductive if the one dies and uh, chiroptera uh, it's new uh, level order uh, it is the second largest order of mammals and you know these bats uh, and uh, it's uh, very interesting too because these animals are very unusual most of this life uh, is upside down they give birth in the same position upside down and the, uh, it's very interesting that uh, the female gestation period for bats range between 40 and even more almost 200 days it's uh, it's not very big animals but this uh, process takes a long time and uh, bats are slowest reproducing mammals usually they give birth only one or two babies it's, uh, mm, mm, at the same time 
and however sometimes they may have the twins a uh, bed uh, bait only 25 percent of the mother's body weight and here we see this mother bed give birth to her baby or up while he's hunting upside down she must catch her poop with her wings after it's born it's not so easy to and uh, after this if you have the twins it's uh, I, I think it's very different dif difficult difficult to, to catch two babies and after that about six months uh, the babies drink milk uh, from its mother for up to six months uh, and uh, flies with her and uh, survive only with her mother carry and links as usually you have links so the next one it's uh, all the identata uh, and if it seems to you that the birth of bats is unusual uh, then there is another example of slots uh, it's uh, one more here we see this gestation period of almost one year but after uh, 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 while the three fingered slow is sought to give birth after approximately six months as it can be and uh, give birth while handing upside down too it's but it's a big animal it's just uh, you birth upside down and uh, uh, sometimes it can be twins too it's very strange with these animals but in general all the uh, identity includes sloths, uh, anteaters, armadillos and the animals are toothless too or with a poorly developed teeth that look uh, enamel and on it is the absent uh, without eggs uh, without teeth and the feet have well developed cross used for di diving, uh, digging or handing and some uh, and it does work of the outsides of the feet and here we see these animals and uh, adjust the leaf clear link uh, about this baby a baby slot is born ready to fade the birth with his eyes open swap crowds and fully formed teeth it's uh, ready to live alone but uh, it of course don't live alone and one more animal uh, oh it's anteater uh, one baby or early twins uh, uh, and stands in maternal care for up one year it's uh, uh, this animal and one more it's nine banded armadillos always give birth four babies always only four uh, and the only mammal known to do this way uh, four babies always uh, all four young develop from the one the same egg and they even share the same placenta it's very in interesting and virgin births are a rest of the female's ability to apply implantation of the fertilization egg during times of, of stress and uh, other uh, but uh, the skin not very long and just other than making milk for her babies for youngs and nine banded armadillos mother is not a particular attentive and their father is even less so so here it's just uh, not so important uh, for these animals to be so care but the milk it does give the calcium and phosphate for building the pouncer and it's very uh, important because you understand it's for babies with it just uh, you see this also official of the osteoderms begin in utero and you can imagine that birth of four babies no less is uh, with the armadillos and it's very difficult to, uh, for the animals and uh, next order proboscidea and here you will see the elephants from the elephants gestation period takes almost two years after which it gives birth a baby elephant and you know this African and Asian elephants 
uh, typical tend to have small gestation period and this is an African elephants and here was this if you want to know more it's very interesting to see like this baby's elephants play with something it's very funny and uh, even how the elephant he births an amazing a video and it's a very very sexual sexual uh, animals they have complex social system and groups lead to mature female and groups are called herbs and dominant male mates with females and this polygenous male having more than one female as a mate uh, at one time and they breed all the year round if birth one or spring but after birth mother help to calf and all together all this uh, group uh, protects this baby it's very interesting and um, the, this uh, a widow and uh, if you want to know more I, I just find a lot of interesting things in this site um, about all mammals not only elephants it's very interesting especially in this part of breeding and communication I just leave the link here and one more it's just almost in the finish it's uh, all the primates yes it is big order and uh, we talked about it in a life cycle of primates vary considerably in duration uh, and among the most primate members of the group the strategy are broadly comparable to those of the other ma mammals of similar size and uh, the in phylogenetic scale they are substantially intended and this great uh, greatest difference uh, is uh, uh, in the duration of the infant and uh, javelin st stage combined. So, uh, the list is the uh, gestation period, which, despite the general belief, cannot be uh, constantly corrected with the uh, body size, adult body size. Here we see the gibbons weight um, about less than. Um, Mm, macaques have a 20% long gestation period and the female give birth to a single offspring at the time and they uh, may have as many as the six babies over the course of the breeding period females and they will to reach sexual maternity around 8 years at the age while males mature a bit later around 10 years and only one baby and average it uh, live approximately 35 years and even sometimes you have the um, 50 years old animals but if you you look on the clear tend toward uh, prolongation of the period of dueling and in general of these animals probably to be associated with the corresponding trend towards the progressive elaboration of the brain it's just the brain uh, gives a uh, long life and here this is a human uh, close to gorillas and uh, it's a correlation with the body mass and not it's uh, close to the brain uh, mass brain mass and he was this marmosets for example are considerably smaller than spider monkey he was this range size from um, almost one meter and is this animals very short and very small about 100 grams but as uh, this uh, animals has almost uh, uh, 150 days of gestation uh, where it's so it's not only the weight not only the weight it is brain um, it's more important for these animals and the same with this uh, uh, mouse lemurs and gentle lemurs is a, this is the same and uh, what we have the cost of maternal care of course it is the energy for lactation for gestation it's calories and nutrients and time time for takes the two twins for two per year and mus uh, monkeys one in front every two or four years and um, to take care of infants even for five years too it sometimes can be so it it takes a long time 
and remind females invest heavily in each in front and produce few total spring it's uh, each in front represents a big fraction of females reproductive output and here we see this even female primates provide many types of care for their offspring like announcement, transportation, once protection from predators, protection from different ways. Uh, uh, very very interesting to know how long it takes for every kind and how much care should females give of spring, like in a holding monkey, more care, higher chance of survival but care for present uh, infant reduce ability to care for all the infants and future infants and females have finite reproductive care care for infants takes maternal resources and few very high quality offspring it must it must make um, trade off many very long quality offspring and primate ma mothers invest heavily in each offspring and here this is female reproduction is limited by access to food of course it can be a very a high level of competition scramble contents and here this competition sometimes have favors cooperation among females between group cooperation like uh, territorial spices to keep just one territory females in the same troop cooperate to conform females from the other groups and larger groups will get access to more resources than small groups of course it's uh, just uh, small and competition sometimes favors cooperation among females within groups cooperation it's this effect uh, access to resources affect run rank um, level uh, and social bonds friends may also uh, have to uh, in red reproductive success and uh, here says this more selection shapes male reproductive strategies of males too um, parental investment sometimes is costly mammalian females are obligated to invest heavily in offspring and have more options than females mammalian males and females are limited in the number of springs they can have and females are limiting resources for males of course and uh, one more males can increase this reproductive success by investing in offspring and uh, you know this just express males to invest then finding additional mates uh, defection uh, defect uh, females spaced out time female mate uh, um, synchronously uh, and fitness of kids rise by one parent law here was this and uh, males can increase reproductive success by company and sexual selection favors uh, trends that increase success in competition for males here was this extra sexual selection intersexual selection and here was this is just kind of uh, for intra-sexual selection in primates and here's a pair bonded spices uh, like for uh, marmosets and tamarinds um, care and founts but some say pair bond spices like in the bones and simons uh, the males have care for infants too and very long time not very short and competitive males and distant fathers multi male groups the male reproductive success tied to number of different females can uh, mate with uh, and uh, males compete for dominance rank and rank orders change frequently and higher ranking males monopoises concern females and male rank is correlated with reproductive success too but in multi male groups some males provide low cost care and uh, males uh, usually tolerant to jewelance and sometimes males support jewelance in aggressive interaction and um, some uh, evidence that males selectively help on, on their own offspring and sometimes can kill even you know this 
uh, and family nursing in front for many months. It takes long time if uh, even infant dies, family are cycling immediately, um, f fertilize and death of infant makes females able for mating sooner and uh, uh, if male turn is short, infanticide enhance male mating opportunities of course. And here if infant site is a sexually selected male reproductive strategy we predict the infant site will be linked to chain changes in male residence or status. Male will kill uh, infants, males won't kill their own infants and sometimes male will gain reproductive benefits. It's evidence support all for prediction. And here we see this infant side of associated with the change in the male status. Here with this um, and male being to kill infants soon after they join a group. It can be and very 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 uh, very often it can be. And here was this and more information about the age uh, in months is uh, probably to survive in presence on infant cell male and uh, males don't kill on infants only when they just don't understand what infants is its own or you uh, know and here is this a lot of information about this, this male classes of mortality in primates and uh, in general what we have to say today about all this uh, maternity and uh, parental care of different different animals it's just uh, it's very difficult to have a baby many uh, mothers are hard workers and baby mammals learn from their mothers and most of the mothers don't uh, really try to teach their babies but the babies watch their mother and do the things they see her do and so copying their mothers and baby males mammals learn everything because they are very smart and they need to survive of course and uh, uh, we will talk about in the uh, next class is about uh, uh, how we change the animals, how people start to change animals. But in general, all processes are very, very connected with the brain, with the hormones, and how this is all these links for this practical. And uh, if you want to know more, uh, you just can read this. Uh, uh, chapter 10 mating and parental care in this animal behavioral book and one more about social organization if you want to know why animals can kill uh, their offspring see you later bye bye